So, hi everybody. Hello, hello. Hi, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How's everybody doing? Everybody good. Good, Miss. Hi, guys. Happy birthday. I hope you're just doing fine. And thanks for joining today's class. Hello. Thank you for that. And uh, I some of you like very, very early, like coming here, and I'm super glad about that. So how do you feel so far? So how, how is your Thursday going? ¿Cómo les está yendo en este jueves? Are you good? Natalie, I'm super glad to see you. Hey, Richard. Hey, Pedrina. Glad to see you there. How are you? Is everything good? Hi, teacher. <clears throat> Hello, Miss. ¿Cómo le va? Everything good? Everything fine? Yes, everything good. Oh, are you feeling sick? ¿Cómo? Uh, are you sick? Yes. Oh. Um. Can you li Can you listen? Uh, I. I li but ay, Dios. I listen to you. I can listen to you. Solo que le, le escucho la voz como un poco, I don't know, is, is everything good? <laughs> well, I just hope you're doing just fine. Okay. So, hi guys, I'm super glad eh, that you could join us. Eh, siempre vamos a pasar asistencia. We're going to go over attendance, you know, as we always do. Deme un segundito solamente. Give me just. Mira, la Susan quiere una, una almohada y, y una cobija de peluche. Vaya. Oh. Me too, Ignacio. <ríe> Deme un segundito. Que me ya está Yo también cerca. una sábana. <ríe> Sorry. No worries, yeah. that's fine. Ok, so... Good evening, let... Ignacio. Good evening. Good evening, classmate. I'm happy. Oh, I'm glad. Esa es la energía que necesitamos today. <ríe> Yes. That is the sort of energy we need. All right. So everybody, solo voy a tomar asistencia. Eh, me ayudan con su camarita, please. Like for a couple of minutes while attendance is taken. Eh, Anita, no sé si ya está por acá, Anita. I don't know if she's around. Solo dame un segundito. Voy a silenciar el resto para que vayamos activando los micrófonos, right? So you can like go and activate them. Okay. So, Anna, uh, Brenda, uh, Brian, Carlos, present teacher. Gracias, Brenda. Thank you very much. Okay, so I got Brenda, no Brian, no Carlos, Danny. Por ahí viene Danny que ya se estaba conectando tú, Guadalupe. Thank you, Miss. Thank you very much. Uh, Natalie. Por ahí escucha Natalie too. Thank you so much. Uh, Jackie. Present teacher. Thank you, Yaki. Thanks a lot. And uh, Jocelyn? Present. Thank you. Ignacio? I 
Okay, I think I saw Ignacio there some seconds ago. Okay, uh, Norbert. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Bonilla, Mr. Bonilla, I see you there. Hello. Hi teacher, hi everybody, I be here. Great, great, I'm super happy to hear you. Marvin Lopez, Mr. Lopez. No lo veo por este área, me sé him. Okay, so maybe not yet. Uh, Clary Berry. Clary. No, she's not here. Moses. Moses, Moses. Present. There you go, thank you so much. Pedrina. Present teacher. Thank you, Pedrina. Rene. Rene. Por ahí veo a Rene Pre Present, present. Thank you so much. Uh, Richard. Present teacher. Thank you, Richard. Hey, I'm glad. Ahora sí lo escucho súper claro. Ok, <laughs> super, ok, like, ok. Clear ok, clear and Mito. loud. Great. Sandra Rodas, Sandrita. Por ahí veo a Sandrita también. Solo si me ayuda mis con la cámara, that would be great. Um, Sonia Mabel. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss, for the confirmation. Present. Thank you, Mabel. And Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. Good night, teacher. Hey, Brian. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Thanks a lot. Gracias, Ingrid. La acabo de leer. I read it. Thanks to you so much. Okay. So, solo me faltan two. Okay, guys, so thanks a lot for joining. Today we have class number four. Let me present my screen so we can get started with today. Um, vamos a estar trabajando today, today with some recommendations, okay? Vamos a intentar dar recommendations, some advice, and talk about it. So I guess it's going to be a really productive night. Um, okay, to get started, I want to... Well, go over um, par de palabritas que vimos ayer. We always try to learn new vocabulary. So I want to listen, guys. De qué palabras te recuerdan? What words do you remember from yesterday? Do you remember anything? Any word? Love anything it. that we studied? Richard? Love it. Mix. Mix? Okay. Assemble. Assemble. Very good. Label. Exactly. Label. Mm -hmm. Ground. So, label, assemble. Uh, Mabel, can you repeat Ground. that, please? Ground, exactly. Ground, like to make pieces. Mm -hmm. I, I, I remember two words. For example, yes. ground, ground and uh, factory. Ground and factory. Okay, very good. Any other word? Oh. Conveyor belt. The conveyor belt, exactly. Do you remember the name of the tool that you can use for cooking? For example, when you want to pick like a piece, right? And like a piece of meat, a piece Tongs. of chicken. Tongs. Very good. What about the other? The other tool that you use like for gasoline, for oil, and you, or water. You put water and it goes all the way down. We saw the picture. <laughs> yes, that was the one. Exactly. Very good. Very good. You got it. Form. So form ground. Thank you, Ingrid. Exactly. Those were the words that we checked yesterday. So let's go ahead and let's check the words that we have for today. Oops. Se ve un poco pequeño. Allow me one second. Give me just a second let me modify the size i see it like too way too small okay way too small okay so i think this is going to get better so let's take a look at it okay so for today these are the words that we have we have for example the word advice and the word recommend we have illness um let's start with advice what do you understand but i by advice ya lo habían visto have you ever seen this word 
Is this the first Ad time? Advice, advice, I don't remember, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. So advice is like un consejo, right? Like when I tell you, I have a headache, I'm dying. <laughs> and what is your advice? Okay. ¿Cuál es su consejo? What can you tell me? What can you mention? The second word recommend is very similar to Spanish. Recommend. So I think we're good. The next one, illness. Give me examples of illness or symptoms like headache, stomachache, any other symptom. Anything else that comes to your mind? Pachin or illness? Illness, illness. Uh, the third, illness. So you can have a pain in your head, a headache, fever, symptoms. right? Like symptoms. Mm -hmm. Any other symptom? No. What? So what comes to your mind? ¿Cuáles son algunas enfermedades that we normally get? Or the symptoms that we get? Uh -huh. Calentur. Uh -huh. Like fever, right? We get fever. We have a headache. Oh, we... gripe. Ah, gripe. How do you... Creo que escuché la voz de Ana. <laughs> so, not sure. Not oh, yeah. yeah, you see. Ya reconozco la voz. <laughs> Hello. Uh, so, how do we, how do we say uh, gripe? Or tos. Ayer la escuché. Yesterday. No, no. Flu, exactly. Yeah, flu. Flu is gripe, right? Flu, cough, okay. Okay, okay, good. The other one is machines. I think that we know what it is. Uh, the other one is apply. Um, have you ever heard the word apply? Apply? Can you give me an example with apply? Creo que lo hemos visto somewhere. Any example you can give me here with apply? A apply is como aplicar, teacher. Yes, like for example, when you apply anointment, cuando tiene una picadita, when there is like a little bump, you can apply um, like anointment, como un guento. But okay. also, también aplicar a un empleo. So you can apply for a job, you can apply para una beca for a scholarship. Okay. You can apply, apply at, uh, at the work, at the new world, for example. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You can apply for a job. Yeah. Apply. Can you apply, a, apply. Can you repeat that? Perform or load? load. What do you mean? Oh, oh, like, okay, I got it. Sorry. Estaba todavía pensando en qué aplicaría. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you can apply some, eh, pero pretty much es como poner. Um, oh. In process, sería como apply for a visa, apply for a scholarship, apply for a job, you know. So apply, aplicar. Okay. The other one we have is quantity and amount, que son palabras bien similares. Those are uh, like similar words. So quantity and amount. What is quantity? Quantity, is cantidad. Yes. And amount is lo mismo. So quantity okay. and amount, both are the same. Um, so we can include them in your um, vocabulary, right? So those are quantity, amount. So primero repitamos. Let's repeat the words. They are not difficult, but let's repeat them. Advice. Advice. Recommend. Recommend. Illness. 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 Machines. 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 Apply. 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 Quantity. 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 And Quantity. Amount. 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 Okay, very good. Now I need examples. I need sentences. Can you give me, can you tell me a sentence using the words that we have here? Again, advice es un consejo. 
So, can anybody give me an example, a sentence using the word advice? Advice. Mm -hmm. You can activate the microphone. That's perfect. Um, Marvin? Alexander, sorry. <laughs> Tell me, Alex. Estoy eh, advice viendo qué se puede hacer. Nada más, teacher, ahorita. Okay, okay, no worries. Take your time. Anybody else? Teacher, my... Yes. In my example Tell is... Me. Yes. My example is about the quantity. Okay, perfect. Teacher, for example, I need advice for visit... Uh, the last week, no, no, the other, the other week uh, for the beach, podría ser. Necesito un consejo para visitar una playa la otra semana. No, 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 yeah. lo, lo mal. no, 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 that's okay. Like, I, I need advice. I need some advice to go to the beach. I need some advice about beaches. Puede ser bien general como necesito un consejo sobre las playas. Oh, oh, así yeah. My girlfriend finished me. I need advice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, no. That's no, so, man, yo, that's so hard. Yo siento que es verdad eso. Yo siento que es verdad. I don't know. I, I no, think... no, no, era un ejemplo. <laughs> no, but, but that is a very good point. And now that you mentioned that, voy a agregar una palabrita que no hemos visto. Eh, con la parte de relaciones, that is break up, right? So when you have a couple, a boyfriend, a, um, a girlfriend, wife, or husband, and you do like, you know, that is called breakup. Okay. So when you want to say, I broke up, y la veo bien interesada escribiéndola, yo <laughs> soy en Norberto, too. Yeah, that is breakup. I break up, en pasado, I broke up, right? Es eh, up, terminar una relación. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So broke up is en un sentido bien romántico. So yes, for you to have it there. So como un la extra eh, well, capsula cultural. <laughs> that is breakup. Okay. So let's continue. Um, I broke well, up with my you, girlfriend. Well, I need advice. Or I bro broke up with my boyfriend. I need advice. That would be perfect, Alex. Tell me. I say broke up is a cry in the moment. Uh, puede ser como es más sentimental, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Eso es lo que le entiendo. Que... Lo que de ese mismo ejemplo, cuando alguien dice broke, broke up, es como más sentimental, me dice. Y break oh. up es más, no, más así solo no, de romper. No, what I mean is, eh, cuando hablamos de relaciones sentimentales, like una relación de pareja, you know, like boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, ah, okay. wife. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, eh, no es una relación laboral, right? Es you know? por el contexto. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But, of course, usted lo puede usar en presente, en pasado. I mean, eso no, no cambia el hecho que ya terminó. <laughs> okay, so that, that, that's the one. But, yeah, that would be the one. Okay. So, very good example. Very no, good example, no. though. Good example. Ricardo, help me with recommend. <laughs> I heard your voice. Teacher, and the question, uh, um, the vocabulary and... Number three, illness, eh, or triple L. Oh, no, no. Um, me, creo que se ve diferente. L. No, lo que sucede es que es mayúscula, entonces this is why. Bye, ahora sí. Ah, ok. I think ah. that can make a difference. Mm -hmm. Es que es ah, por la mayúscula que se ve casi igual. Okay. But that is illness. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, my chin uh, popping uh, case, uh, uh, no fusion. Um, can, can you say it again, please? Can you repeat it one more time? Okay, uh, my chin uh, uh, popping a case. No, no fusion, no fusion. Okay, like my machine. Um, okay, en vez de la palabra function, podríamos utilizar eh, por, cuando hablamos de cosas electrónicas. Eh, Ajá, es no un poco funciona. más fácil de comprender a veces la palabra doesn't work. Eh, siempre que algo no sirva, 
um, usamos Dustin ah, Word. Entonces, Dustin perfecto. Word. I like it. The machine. Solo en vez de function, cambiamosle a Dustin Word. Ah, ok. O sea que podría ser machine, uh, copying, uh, K, uh, Dustin Word. Mm -hmm. The copy machine oh. doesn't work. That would be okay. it. Exactly. Okay. Like, for example, oh, my computer no sirve. Ya se arruinó. So, yes. my computer doesn't work. Okay. If you're talking about your cell phone, ay, no, todo se traba. So, my cell phone doesn't work. New doesn't cell phone. Work. Exactly. New cell phone. Or I need to work. Yes. <laughs> or yes, my, exactly. my motorcycle doesn't work. So, anything. That you want to say, no sirve, no funciona, you can say doesn't work. Uh -huh. Or don't work, depending if it is singular or plural. Amazing. Happy, happy day, um, my phone. New? Oh, yeah. Yes. Not yet, not yet. Ya casi, ya okay. casi, ya casi. No, no yet, todavía no. Ya casi it has llega. to work. Okay. Uh, so, that is with sure. machine. The machine doesn't work. Uh, illness, alguien tiene con illness? Can you give me an example with illness, guys? Give me just a second, Ignacio. Let me listen to other voices here. I have 21 souls. <laughs> okay, illness, guys. Alguien tiene una con illness? Enfermedades, illness, nobody. All right, okay. What about apply? Do you have an example with apply? Teacher. Uh, yes. Tell me, Richard. Ilse, Ilse, illness, illness, creo que sí dice enfermedad, ¿verdad? Illness, yeah, that's illness, right. Illness, uh, uh, COVID, um, danger. Dangerous, exactly. Dangerous. COVID is a dangerous illness. Yes. Very good. Yes. So COVID <laughs> is a dangerous illness. Good example. Okay. Mm -hmm. nice. uh, apply, ¿alguien más tiene algo con apply? Or illness? Dejala. No va. Apply, Miss. Yes, Guadalupe. When you, go to, when you go to the, the beach, mm -hmm. and, and you receive the, a lot of uh, sound, mm -hmm. you can apply a sunscreen. Mm -hmm. So when when you go to the beach, you can apply. Uh, cream mm -hmm. or yeah milk. great now that's a very good example i would include here like sunscreen como un bloqueador right the soy Teacher. but I, I like the idea yes alex tell me for, ex, for example i win for a scholarship i need apply to visa for mm -hmm. travel exactly. to the united states mm -hmm. for very my good time. very good exactly that's the way it goes and quantity. I think Ignacio has one with quantity. Go ahead, Ignacio. Yes, yes. Thanks. Thanks. You and the classmate know about my job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, in our company, we we are dedicated to construction of deep well for. Mm -hmm. Drinking water, you know, you know, mm -hmm. okay. But, but, you, Hello. to the different, to the different aquifer in El Salvador, mm -hmm. we do not guarantee mm -hmm. the quality and quantity of mm -hmm. water. Okay. They produce the well. Okay. We so, do not. We do not responsible about the quantity. Water produce the well. Wow. So your company is responsible of making the well. Yeah, so that's only, it. only wow. the make of the well. Mm -hmm. But I understand. For, for different aquifer in El Salvador, we do not offer. Responsibility of quantity, okay. Yeah. Very interesting and very difficult <laughs> because if I make a well, I need uh, the confirmation, right? But very good, guys. I like your examples. And 
I like that you understood the words that we have for today. Please, si les queda duda con alguna palabra, let me know. No se queden con la duda. Or you can check on internet. You can check later on how to use the word. So let's go ahead. And we have today a little topic that is called advice or recommendation, right? So advice, como dijimos, es un consejo. Recommendation is casi lo mismo. Yes, yeah, something I tell you, podrías hacer esto, you know, deberías hacerlo. I'm not giving you an order. It's only my idea. So this is an opinion that something gives you, an opinion that someone expresses about a topic. And to talk about this topic, we are going to move uh, to page numbered allow me one second i'm going to present i want you to take a look at your material and this is page number 15. so let's go ahead to page number 15 please and um we have you know like a little conversation that we are going to practice so um there are not like too many new words just the word improve manufacturing we also have 21st right 21st century las demás creo que son palabras that are very common oh and also we have equipment so everybody please help me read vamos a leer un par de palabritas here read with me improve 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 Mm -hmm. manufacturing. Manu manufacturing. manufacturing manufacturing perfect equipment 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 very good 21st 21st 21st, 21st. 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 Century. century 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 very good very good okay i would like to listen to two people I need Peter and Berta. <laughs> Who wants to be Peter? I need a Peter, guys. <laughs> Who wants to be Peter today? Uh -huh. Norberto, thank you very much. So, Norberto, you will be my Peter. And I need a Berta. Who wants to be Berta? I am. I am. Okay. So, Marvin, perfect. You can go with Berta. Thank you, Marvin. <laughs> I heard uh, Alex uh, first. Okay, so Norberto, you can help me with Bert, uh, with Peter, and Alex, you can help me with Bert. Okay. Okay. Uh, Berta, do you do you think that our company improve the manufacturing? I believe so. What do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce costs. Okay, I see. I think that we should do what our company are doing. And that is? Greeting new equipment. equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machine with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century uh, rings uh, maybe uh, we should talk about that is the next meeting yeah i said an, 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 a new email because for the requisition Okay, <laughs> thank you, Jan, I saw that, but great, okay, that sounds great. So thanks everybody, and thank you guys for help me, helping me read. Okay, um, so they are talking about the equipment, that the machines should be new, so let's take a look at the statements that we have at the bottom, um, and it says here, uh, to, 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 to say if this is true or false. Number one, how is the manufacturing process in your company? Lo mencionaron? Did they say that? 
Well, actually, the exercise says true or false, but no hay para dónde decir true or false. So tell me, um, how is the manufacturing process in the company here? ¿Cómo describirían el proceso? What do they say about the process? Good, modern, old. What do you think? El, el proceso, pero de, ese, de esa conversación, dicha. Yes, yes, from this conversation. Uh, right there. So, according, de acuerdo a lo que dice toda la conversación, how would you describe the process? Is the process very modern? Tienen máquinas modernas? Do they have modern machines? No, no. Uh, they have a machine very old. Exactly. They have old things. Because the person says we should be in the 21st century. So, significa que no están. Maybe they have really old machines. So, coming back, uh, let me present my my... Hello. Reduce costs. They need to reduce costs. Eso significa que the process is, how do you call this? The process is expensive. They need to reduce costs. All right. Brenda, hello. Are you working? Oh, thanks a lot. Gracias por unirse, Miss. Yes, Thank you so much. Wow, thank you so much for being there. Okay, no worries. So, um, entonces, cuando voy a utilizar should, when am I going to use should? If we check this out, One we have, yes? Is a uh, day one uh, buy the new equipment mm -hmm. for the process. Mm -hmm. That's right. Podría ser una recomendación, verdad? Yes. Of course, that could be a recommendation. So, let's take a look at the way we use should. First, primero vamos a pronunciar should. No pronunciamos la L. Should. Negative, should then. Should and shouldn't. We use should and shouldn't to give somebody advice. ¿Qué era advice? What was advice? Do you remember? Consejo. Consejos, exactly. Or say what you think is the right thing to do. No le digo hágalo. I'm not saying that. I'm giving my opinion, right? So, and here we have the structure. So let's take a look at the structure because it is easy, super, super easy. I have all the pronouns and I have should, shouldn't, and the verb infinitive, pero sin el tú. Nunca voy a usar tú. So, ¿Cómo puedo dar recomendaciones? How can I give recommendations? For example, this machine, this company, they have all machines, the process is expensive. Entonces viene Alex y nos dice, oh, hagan esto. Alex, ¿cuál fue su recomendación? What was your recommendation? Uh, I, I show mm -hmm. when my, my recommendation is you buy the new equipment mm -hmm. for the process is uh, the, uh, is very fast for exactly. the manufacturing. Exactly. So I come y yo les doy esa recomendación. Como es una empresa, maybe podría ser it o lo podría considerar ellos como they. Cualquiera de los dos funciona. So it should buy new equipment to make the process faster. Or they should buy equipment to make the process faster. So, cualquier pronombre que use no va a tener ningún cambio. I'm going to just shoot for that. Negative. Si yo le digo, ellos no deberían hacer eso, I'm going to use shouldn't for that. No cambio again ni por, para ningún pronombre. Oh, no, ten, no deberían de usar el mismo equipo. They shouldn't use the same equipment, right? Because we are giving recommendations. So, um, we can give recommendations for every single environment. Let me show you. Here we have some examples. Like, you shouldn't drink coffee in the evening, right? If it is my friend, no, my friend. Richard, you shouldn't drink coffee in the evening. Yes, <laughs> it will I keep love you. Away. Yes. 
I love it, Richard. I love, I love it. it. I love it. <laughs> es, es que I love you. Like, no, Richard, no me. Es que es okay. el acento. No, I el love it. El acento de español uh -huh. que tengo. <laughs> I love it. Ajá. Uh -huh. so, como me gusta, right? It, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love okay. it. I love it. Or I love it. Mm -hmm. I love coffee. That would be great. Es que I love you es directo, como a usted. And so I'm like, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that is the one. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Is okay. So uh, this is one recommendation. You shouldn't drink coffee in the evening. It'll keep you awake. Yeah. Lo va a dejar desvelado toda la noche. It'll keep you awake. Um, uh, and... Uh, <clears throat> Other ways how we can use uh, or how we can give recommendations are these. We often use, I think you should. Yo creo que tú deberías. I think you should, or I think you shouldn't, or I don't think you should. No creo que deberías hacerlo, you know? Like for example, I tell you, hey guys, I want to change the color of my hair. What is your recommendation? I want to change the color of my hair. What is your recommendation? Pueden ser ambas. Oh, hágalo. You should do it. O lo opuesto. You shouldn't do it. I don't think you should do it. So, what is your recommendation? No recommendations for me? Yes. <laughs> no, de la primera, que I think you, I think mm -hmm. you should change your job because do you live a very almost distance from to home up the job. Oh, no sé. wow. Oh, you mean with this one? I think you should change your job. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that works. That definitely works. So I think you should change your job because of the distance. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, yeah, following this line, we have the second example that says, I don't think you should speak to her. Imagine it's your friend, you like la persona le mintió, the person lied to you. I don't think you should speak to her anymore. So, la idea es que damos recomendaciones, podemos usar solo you should, o utilizamos I think you should, or I don't think you should, to give recommendations, right? Um, um, ese no es un tema nuevo, this is not like a new topic, so please let me know si voy muy rápido or if you have questions yes so we yes can stop. teacher i have a question Then what do you what do you say o qué quiere decir i don't i don't think lo que puso hace ratito mm -hmm. i don't think should espérame lo voy a tengo que leer uh, uh, no worries i think you should or i don't think you should eso i don't think you should uh, speak to her uh, qué quiere decir eso Remember que el should es para dar recomendaciones. Entonces yo puedo ser bien directa y, y le quito la primera parte. Por ejemplo, um, voy a eliminar esto. I'm going to eliminate this. And I have, you should change your job. Mi recomendación ya está y se entiende. I understand what you mean. But yo también le puedo expresar como algo bien personal. Yo creo yo pienso mmm, como cuando usted da su, su opinión <ríe> su humilde opinión and you say oh I think you should change your job no cambia el significado está diciendo lo mismo pero agregándole I think uh, es como un poco más personal you know this is something very personal su idea propia so I don't think es lo mismo pero la diferencia es que esta es yo no creo que debería hacerlo I don't think you should y la otra, I think you should. Yo creo que sí. So, yo creo que sí, yo creo que no. Pretty much, esa es la idea. Alex, sí, no sé si le respondo the, the question. Yes, yes. Es como lo yo creo, ¿verdad? O yo pienso. Yo creo y yo pienso. Exacto. Eso es ah. como algo bien personal. Cuando, como cuando usted viene y le dice, en mi opinión. So, I think. Oh, what, mm -hmm. uh, y alguien puede preguntar, eh, what are you thinking about? Y el exactly. otro, whatever. Exactly. Exactly. Cuando le dice whatever, es como, ahí ve, ahí ve vos. Whatever es lo que sea, whatever, no me interesa. Yeah, pero ah, eso es bien personal. This is my personal pero, opinion. Pero si le dice, I think, I, I think, I you, think, she, uh -huh. I think you should uh, 
change your machine for exactly. a best uh, process mm -hmm. in, in very fast working. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, así Ya está involucrando el elemento de, en mi opinión personal. Mm -hmm. Ajá, uh, okay. teacher. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, my, my participate about the to use tool. Okay. For Tell example, uh, our company have uh, the most customer Anda, okay. Anda, but Anda need well to 300 meters deep the well. Okay. So um, we, our, our company, mm -hmm. we should buy a machine okay. with capacity for 300 meters of deep. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you need the machine, okay? Yeah. But that is a good example. That is a good example, guys. What Ignacio is saying, uh, nos está dando un ejemplo de lo que su empresa necesita. So, el cliente le pide algo, ellos no lo tienen. So the company should buy a machine with the characteristics. Thank you so much. That that is a very good example. So let me go back to the material and let me present it here. Um, it says, will you should to give advice or to talk about what we think is right or wrong. Again, no es una orden, no le estoy diciendo hágalo, le digo, usted debería, esta es mi opinión, pero depende de usted, yeah? You do whatever you want. So we should upgrade our system, they should bring new equipment, we should not continue the same with the same market, the company should broad its target. Debería de ampliar la cobertura, right? So, Veamos los siguientes ejercicios. Let's take a look at the exercise number five. It says, complete the statements you say should or shouldn't and compare your answers with a partner. Number one, our products should or shouldn't be fresh. What do you think? Our products should or shouldn't be fresh? Should. Good, eh? Si somos, por ejemplo, um, I don't know, a restaurant, nuestros productos should or shouldn't be fresh? Should. 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 Deberían ser should. frescos. Exactly. Should. Should. Yeah, should. como del día, right? Number two. Yes. This company should forget or shouldn't forget about quality. No. Shouldn't. 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 Uy, shouldn't. shouldn't. Exactly. No deben olvidar. Ajá, uh -huh. shouldn't forget. Number three. Dice, y puedes, ah, don't, puede ser también. The company don't forget about the quality. Lo que sucede es que el don't es como the, the company doesn't forget. La empresa no se olvida de la calidad. Pero en este caso, le estoy dando mi recomendación. La compañía no debería de olvidarse. No es que no lo hagan o lo hacen. Solo es mi recomendación. Ya, yeah? so, es un poquito diferente el enfoque que le damos acá. La, la cosa es infinitive. Ok. Um, well, con el forget no cambia, pero es el, el uso que le damos. Ya lo vamos a, a practicar, eh, Alex, no worries. Number three, we should or we shouldn't explore new markets. What do you think? Sure. Says, we should. Should, right? We should yeah, always. We should. Yeah, good. Number yeah, four, the, ma the machinery should be old or shouldn't be old? Should. Shouldn't be old. No debería estar viejita. Okay. And oh. number five, all the employees should or shouldn't use the machinery. What do you think? Should? Yeah, right? The employees should, yeah, should, should use the machinery. Should. Deberían de saber cómo utilizarla. They should use the machinery. So, again, la parte de should and shouldn't is very easy porque solamente estamos dando recommendations about specific topics. Le podemos agregar I think si lo quieren hacer más personal. So, I have some questions for you, uh, and I need, of course, I need you to discuss them, give recommendations, okay, and let's try to keep it English. Intenten mantenerlo inglés as much as possible. For example, number one says, I have problems going to sleep at night. Oh, y tenemos esta palabrita, give me one second. Deme un segundito, give me just a second here. Vamos a pedir recomendaciones. We're going to ask for some recommendations here. 
And um, ya vamos a ver preguntas también. We will check questions later. So, tu, 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 tu. okay, there we go. So let me present the screen one more time. Let me present it. Okay, there we go. So number one says, I have problems uh, going to sleep at night. What should I do? Si tengo problemas, you know, quedándome dormido, dormida, what should I do? Two, my neighbor's dog barks all the time. Bark is like, woo, 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 woo. okay. <laughs> my neighbor's dog barks all the time and it's driving me crazy. What should I do? ¿Qué hago con el perrito? Okay, so my neighbor's dog barks. Bark is ladrar. So barks all the time. The next one says, I don't want to continue. Oh, por ahí está ladrando el perrito de alguien. <laughs> so I don't want to continue studying English. Oh my God, serious problem. ¿Qué debería de ser esa persona? What should the person do? ¿Cómo lo motivarían a que continúe? Right? No le vayan a decir, you should stop. <laughs> No, motivelo. What the what should the person do? Okay. Um, and the last one says, I don't know how to study at home without teacher. Eso creo que es bien común for everybody. No es lo mismo um, face to face interaction que estar a veces uno solito o con cursos en línea or well in this way nosotros tenemos la oportunidad de estar como one on one in this way o sincrónico. But sometimes, como Excel, les mandan las guías, you do the exercises, and that's it. So, what should I do? ¿Qué debería de hacer? Right? Um, guys, I want you to discuss. I want you to discuss these. All right. Y como grupo, I want you to think about some recommendations. Remember, todas son con you should or you shouldn't. Right? Lo que debería de hacer. Um, los voy a enviar a grupos and I need you to join them, please, and discuss them. Give your opinion, give rec your recommendation. ¿Qué le recomiendan al compañero? So we have 10 minutes and then we come back. So let's get going. Let's go, guys.
Thank you guys for coming back. Solo vamos a esperar some seconds for everybody to be back. Hello, good evening, teacher. I saw in mute. <laughs> Sorry about that. So thank you. Um, so here we have some uh, situations, right? For example, I have problems going to sleep. My neighbor's dog barks all the time. I don't want to continue studying English. Can in algún momento nos pasa? And I don't know how to study at home without a teacher. So necesito su ayuda. I need your help with the first. Can I listen to some recommendations, please? If I have problems uh, going to bed. What is your recommendation, guys? I finished my class at 10. Then I have problems going to sleep. What should I do? Teacher. Uh, yes, Alex. Nosotros, we, uh, reading, you should listen to music to sleep tonight. Oh, oh very good. Uh -huh. Our recommendation is you should read a book. You should uh, read a book. Mm -hmm. Read a book to sleep tonight. Mm -hmm. okay. Or brew. Yeah. Or brew. Or Thank brew you. Opinion, uh, I throw the drink meal and drink water. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I, I listen to music. From my case, I, I listen to salsa music, mm -hmm. a little song. So you listen to some salsa music to relax. Okay. Okay. But listening to music in general sounds like a very good idea. Thank you. In general, uh, for, in my case, I listen to salsa, but, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah, I don't like salsa. So, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Okay. You don't like cat, salsa? No. <laughs> But, but it's very limited. With music, I listen to everything, but salsa, mm, not really. <laughs> oh, no, I prefer heavy metal. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> that sounds better. Uh, okay, so um, water, milk, music, um, reading a book, you said. Let me see. You should Anything check. I, you should take a shower. Uh, in my case, I should take a shower. Yeah. before go to the bear. Mm -hmm. I agree with you, Rene. I do the same. When I cannot sleep, I wake up or I stand up and I go and take a shower. I agree with you. Anybody else? Or a different recommendation? Okay, I think we're good. Sure. <laughs> okay, next. Yes? Uh, I am at, at Vise. Uh, Sure, uh, sure, visit the doctor. Oh. Hello? Medicine? Yes. Eh, visitar un doctor, but si no puedo dormir, para que te recomiendo medicine. Okay, yeah. Well, I, I think, yeah, of course, we can give that recommendation. So you should visit to the doctor to get medicine. I mean, remember, eso no es obligatorio. What we are Richard. saying is, debería, yes? No, no, I will not eat a, 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 ¿cómo se dice? Muy tarde, sería. Late? Late. Okay. No como, vamos a como vamos a decirle que no haga algo, entonces le decimos, you, El negativo de should es? Shouldn't. 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 So shouldn't. shouldn't eat uh, uh -huh. laying. Exactly. You shouldn't eat so late. Uh -huh. That is true. That is true. Sure. I learned it the hard way. Yes, Jocelyn. Uh, you should uh, eat a soft pito. <laughs> 
You should have a pito soup with beans. <laughs> yes. Or, 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 oh, yeah. Well, I don't know, you guys. Pero eso sí me funciona. That works. Pistachio. For sleeping. <laughs> No tiene que pasar eso. I don't know about that. I don't know. Siento que me está dando mentira. No, you have to explain to us that. I don't know. Okay. Uh, next one. Number two. I know that uh, with animals it's a little bit more difficult, but let's listen to your recommendations. Guys, I would like to listen to everybody's voices. That would be wonderful. So my neighbor's dog barks like meow, 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 meow. Yeah, all the time. And it's driving me crazy. Okay. What should I do? Annoying teacher. It is annoying. Mm -hmm. It's annoying. Yeah. Uh, teacher. It's annoying. So I thought I told, I told uh, my neighbor. You talk? I told my neighbor because okay. this song is annoying. Okay. So you talk to your neighbor because it is annoying. Okay. Very good. Any other recommendation? You should write a letter about the problem oh. for the mayor of you. Oh. Uh, why the neighbor? Oh, I, okay, okay. So, one, you should talk to your neighbor or you should write a letter, okay? Yes. Y la well, otra es, eh, you mm -hmm. should, shouldn't throw boil, boil water a doggy. You should? No, nunca le vayas a echar agua caliente, pues. Ah, hot yeah. water. You shouldn't throw hot water. water. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. But cold water? <laughs> Is that okay? okay. okay. I don't know. I'm asking for recommendations. So you speak to the neighbor, but you shouldn't throw water at the dog, hot water, or cold water. Jocelyn, I think you wanted to say something. Teacher, shoe. Norbert? Shoe, gear, gear up away. You should? Uh, give, gear up away. To give away. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't get the, the word in between. Should, you should give? Should, should give? Give away. Uh, but the problem is that it's not your dog, it's your neighbors. Es el del vecino. Oh, pero I like it. I like that recommendation. Podemos cambiar. Igual. Podemos cambiar el you for they or he, he should give it away. No, Richard, no. Yes? no. Who's a teacher? Because sometimes the dog have a. Oh, Carlos. Yeah. In this case, is is maybe put a, a food. Some food. Dog, dog food. This idea. Yeah, you can give some food. Yeah, that that could work exactly. Okay, guys, let's move to the next one. The other one I think is very personal. I think at some point, hemos estado como, oh, clases are so difficult. So, yes, soy cansada, etc. No tengo tiempo. What other excuse? Ayúdenme. What other excuses han escuchado? I don't have time. I'm busy. I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm tired. I'm tired. tired, tired. Mm -hmm. Any other? Is the, is the I, I like it. I don't like I don't like. If, okay. if, uh, is our is our oh, diner, for example? Oh, it's yeah. It's like the time for my food, dinner time. Okay. It's difficult. It's difficult to be honest with you. Siento que it's stressed. It's well, nunca escuchado. It's stressed out. <laughs> I have <laughs> never heard that it's a stressful, but <laughs> okay, probably, probably. Pencil. So we hear like a lot of different reasons, excuses, como lo queramos llamar. But the point is, hemos estado en un momento que decimos, oh, I don't want to continue, yeah? So what is your recommendation to motivate these people to continue? 
I'm not asking you, para díganles que ya no. No, you shouldn't tell them don't do it. So to motivate no. them, how do you, uh, how would you, what would you recommend? To get no, to get a better at work. You should, okay, okay, yeah. What else? You should continue because you have more opportunity for work. I like it. That's true. Totally true. What else? You should continue starting to have better job opportunities. Yeah, to make more money. Exactly. Or travel. Yes. To go to Tunco, you know, and talk to Americans. Yes, Ignacia? In, in my group, the, uh -huh. the last the last group, yes. somebody say your problem is the, for the he going to gym. Oh. Yes, for me is not problem, but for me it's excuse. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Brian. Brian. So, I don't want to say names, but Brian, you mean? <laughs> no, no. I mean, I think me gustó una que dijo Alex. I think in Alex groups they were discussing this. And I like the recommendations they, they gave. Alex, I don't know if you are there. Uh, you, yeah. you should create a WhatsApp group for practice with your placement. placement mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you should oh. create a WhatsApp group, but you mentioned another one. You had others. No me acuerdo it, was, era. it was about time. It was about the time management. Ah, uh, do you do you you should the organize organize your time for uh, continuing continue studying to English. Yeah, I really you, like you, it. You can, do it. you can do it. I really like it because sometimes sin querer queriendo we spend one hour in YouTube or 30 minutes in Facebook, three hours in Instagram. Y si lo sumamos, it's like four hours y pasamos acá solo dos, you know, or only one or only two. So I think it's también un poquito de time management, like organize your ideas better. So uh, any other, alguien más tenía otra? Do you, do, do you have another recommendation? Practice every day. Practice every day, yeah. After, you know, first one or two months, uno le empieza a encontrar gusto a las cosas. Either, ya sea gimnasio, education, school, what? Incluso el trabajo. <laughs> no, I mean, uno le empieza a encontrar gusto. So it's a matter of practice, everybody. I like it. Very good recommendation. And the last one. Do you have another for the last? I don't, I need a teacher to study. I don't know how to study. Any recommendation? You should listen music for <laughs> English. Oh, uh, if it is English, yes. You should listen to music. You should see the videos in the internet or yeah. read material about the, the journey. Very nice. Mm -hmm. you, should, you should practice with yourself. You should practice with yourself. Yes. Wait. I heard that was a different voice. I don't know if that was René, okay. But that was a good one, practice with yourself. Okay, very good, very good. Guys, I have some exercises for you, and this is complete the exercises. Here, en la parte donde están las paréntesis, vamos a decidir if this is should or shouldn't. ¿Cuál de las dos formas vamos a utilizar for the examples here? Number one says, you have a great job. ¿Qué le usamos? You should change or you shouldn't change. ¿Cuál de las dos is sure. the best or the most appropriate answer for the question sure. here? Sure. Um, sure. You should share. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Si tiene un buen trabajo, no lo debería de cambiar. So you shouldn't change it. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ponerle atención también que tenemos preguntas. Number six is a question. Um, Las preguntas, lo único que vamos a hacer es cambiar el orden. Si yo digo, you should, cambio should. el orden y es, should you. Mm -hmm. Si digo, he should, cambio el orden y es, 
should he, should she. Lo único que vamos a hacer es esto, hacer este pequeño cambio. Y eso es todo. That would be it. Lo demás no cambia. Guys, tienen cinco minutitos. You have five minutes to complete the exercises. Ya solo nos quedan 30 minutos, así que let's do it. Five minutes for this. Yeah. Hello. Eh, ¿Verdad que sería eh, la cuestión uh, number seven? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't go to the restaurant. They food is terrible. Sí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Deme un segundo. Solo muevo algo. Acá no logro verla. Uh, terrible, number seven. 
So yes. go to the restaurant if it is terrible. You should or you shouldn't? You shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Well, you should. I would say so. Es que tengo, tengo, yes, es que eh, me, que me cuesta decir shouldn't y sure. Entonces por eso estaba practicando. Oh, sure ok. Es mm -hmm. que lo... Ah, que, lo está, que, que no lo niegue, que no lo está negando. Y sure, es que sí lo está negando. Por así. Well, de hecho, véalo más como algo que debería y no debería de hacer. Si hablamos de pronunciación, um, esto suena como un should. Como un should. You should. Sure. Should. No sé, no sé, no sé si es por el alambre o qué, pero me cuesta. <risa> Oh, you're racist. Sí, sí me cuesta. Si ayer okay. fui, me está costando un mundo. Okay, no worries. Se, se van a acostumbrar. So, uh, no, let's do something. Es que no, no abra los labios mucho. Solamente es como should. 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 Cerradito. Should. Should. Okay. The negative is should. the same. No abra mucho los labios. Should them. Should them. Should them. You shouldn't. Should. Se le quebró, Richard. Shouldn't. 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 You should. Okay. You shouldn't. Uh, no se abren los labios mucho. Voy a tratar la manera de tenerlo cerrado. No, a mí. Solo es como, ajá, no, no, abre, no los abre mucho para que el sonido salga un poco mejor. So, uh, guys, help me out with the uh, answers, right? Number one says, you have a great job. So, no debería de cambiarlo, right? You shouldn't change it. Anita, number two, what are you having two? You shouldn't. You shouldn't drink so much coffee. It's bad for your blood pressure. Exactly, it's bad for your blood. All right, good. Ingrid, number three, the government. Me? Yes. Hello. Eh, tengo una duda. ¿Cómo se, cómo, o sea, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre un, un decir uh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, uh, no, por ejemplo, should o decir I'm sure, uh, I didn't sure, o I didn't sure, o solamente decir sure, no sé si me entiende. Eh, ¿Cómo le agregamos otro auxiliar, se refiere? I deem sure, ajá, porque eso como se dice, I deem sure, o solamente se puede decir sure o shouldn't, o sea, por preguntar o, o decir algo. Mm, ok, le comparto, mis, eh, let me share this. Si es solamente una oración en la que usted quiere expresar una idea, como tú deberías, una recomendación, o tú no deberías, no le va a agregar ningún otro auxiliar, no se pueden combinar, de hecho. No se puede tener you do or you... You don't, shouldn't. No, no podemos hacer la combinación. Entonces solamente va a tener que estar solito. You should, she should, we should, they should. No va a do, ni did, ni ningún otro auxiliar. No sé si era, esa era la pregunta, Miss. Sí, ajá, porque parece que usted dijo eh, cuando lo hago más personalizado se pronuncia oh, de una I manera think. cuando ya le entendí. Se refiere a esto de acá. This one. Well. Es la misma recomendación. Yeah. I think es porque es algo más personalizado según lo que me dio. Se me está quebrando un poquito, eh, Ingrid. You are breaking a little, but eh, guys. Cuando solo digo shoot, solamente doy la recomendación, pero se me está quebrando bastante. Pero de, déjeme, déjeme uh, ver si this is what you what you mean. Um, la parte de think no es obligatoria, es solamente cuando yo lo quiero personalizar, pero no cambio el significado. Si yo le digo you should change your job. O le digo, I think you should change your job. No estoy cambiando la idea que es, yo pienso que tú deberías de cambiarlo. O tú deberías de cambiarlo. 
no me cambia el significado. Lo único que el thing me agrega una parte personal, pero no en cambia el significado. De decir mi, 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 ¿cómo le puedo decir? En mi opinión. Digo, I think, mi opinión personalizada. I think, I think. Es como, en mi opinión, pero no, no me cambia lo que yo quiero decir. Uh -huh. So, here, vamos a usar el verbo, digamos, desnudo, tal cual, sin el think. So, number oh. one is, you, should, you shouldn't change it. No deberías de cambiar tu empleo, because it's good. Number two, Anita said, you shouldn't drink so much coffee. It's bad for your blood pressure. Number three, uh, ¿quién tiene la tres, guys? Who has number three? You the should. government. Should. The government should. should. Should sure. help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. Number four. It's an incredible film. You. You should. You should watch, you should watch it. it. Yeah, you should watch it. All right. Uh, number five. It's a very dangerous area. To resist. You should. Shouldn't go. Shouldn't go. Very good. No deberían ir. Shouldn't go. Number six. Number six es una pregunta, pero, 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 no vamos a cambiar el orden porque tenemos el do. Entonces, no le vamos a cambiar el orden. Lo van a ver luego. Do you think I should apply for a new job? Eso es todo. Vamos a cambiarle el orden cuando esté eh, solito, digamos, el should, sin do, sin did, sin ningún otro auxiliar. En este caso, no cambiamos el orden. Do you think I should apply for a job? I should apply for a new job. No cambiamos orden. Number seven says, um, you should or you shouldn't go to the restaurant. Richard, que tiene la siete. What do you have in number seven? You shouldn't. Shooting. You shouldn't go to the restaurant because the food is really bad. Mm -hmm. The restaurant, the food is terrible. Very good. And number eight? You shouldn't. Who's got number eight? Eh, creo que por ahí ve a Brenda. I don't know, Brenda, if you are available, ready. Creo que todavía estoy trabajando. Natalie. I teach you. Okay, thank you. Number eight. We summon you, Dawson. You are cover. You shouldn't. No, should. I thank you. Exactly. When someone does you a favor, cuando alguien te hace un favor, when someone does you a favor, you should say thank should, you. You should say thank you. Mm -hmm, exactly. So you should say. Very good, everybody. Preguntas. Does anybody have a question? You should ask. <laughs> Deberían de hacer preguntas. You should ask. Uh, hola, Miss. No me hablo. Oh, this, yeah, por un ejercicio, pero no se preocupe, no worries, I understand. Oh, me imagino que you are still working, no worries. Thank you. Okay. Either, you know, yeah. either way. Yes, Ignacio. Yeah, my, my, my question. The bear, yeah. the bear don't, don't uh, modify. Change? Mm -hmm. No, never, no? never, never. Yeah, okay. nunca lo cambiamos. Tampoco le agregamos to. You should too. Eso no se puede. Uh -huh. So you should go, you should read, you should drink. So todo sin modificaciones. Okay. Uh, guys, I have here a couple of... Tengo cinco preguntitas that we are going to discuss. No vamos a escribir respuestas. We are not going to write a, um, answers, ideas, or anything. Quiero que lo hagamos solo speaking, please. Just speaking practice. Number one says, what are some things a student should do to improve their English? Um, tienen cinco, pero por el tiempo van a escoger solamente una en el grupo to discuss tanto como pueda. Two, what should I do to make more money? I need more money. What should I do? ¿Qué debería de hacer? Three, how can I get more free time? What should I do to get more free time? Because I'm very busy. Number four. What should people do when first meeting their boyfriend or girlfriend's parents? Cuando los llevan a la casa, you know? <laughs> so, and they present them over. What should they do? And number five, what should someone do to be happy? ¿Qué le recomendarían a alguien para ser feliz? You know, to feel good, to feel fine. What should the person do? Again, 
Van a escoger only one. Select only one. Talk. Please, guys, les voy a pedir enormemente, no lo hagan solitos. That is not the idea. The idea is socialize, share, and practice new vocabulary. Al escuchar al compañero, voy a aprender o al enseñarle y explicarle cómo se dice algo, también es, eh, hay más posibilidades que a mí se me quede. So, please discuss. No lo hagan solito. Don't write it on your own. But um, share with a partner. Compartan las ideas con el compañero. You have... Tu, 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 tu. Tenemos only five minutes to do that. Los grupos están bastante grandes. So, you can speak. Share ideas and let's go ahead and do it, guys. So enjoy it. Let's go ahead. Five minutes. Mándeme otra vez la invitación, teacher, que no le había tomado captura. Está en el teléfono, Marvin. Sí, la invitación para el grupo pequeño. Ok, lo que pasa es que ya, ya, se la, ya le aparece a usted. Si está en el teléfono, en la parte superior de su teléfono, como en una esquinita, hay un cuadrito. No sé si lo logra ver. Sí, sí. Solo le da como un tap. Solo le da clic ahí o un tapping ahí y ya lo va a mandar a su grupo. Ahí está. Ah, no, todavía no. Sí, ya está. Minis. Hola, Ingrid. Estoy teniendo problemas con el Intermis. Por eso me um, Mandé a, a grupos ahorita. Sí, eh, ahorita ya le comparto la invitación para que pueda ir con los compañeros. En YouTube Practices Web. ¿Me confirma si ya la tienen? Okay, gracias, Miss. Acabo de ver su mensaje. Ella soy. Pero me alegra. Gracias por regresar. Thanks a lot for coming back.
Okay, everybody. Thanks a lot for coming back. Me falta todavía uno. I'm missing one person. Give me one minute. All right. So we were discussing the words. We were discussing the questions. And uh, let's go with what do you have? What topic did you select from one to five? ¿Cuál escogieron? Which one did you select, guys? Hi, teacher. Yes, Richard. Or Gru choose the one question. Uh, number five. Number one. Okay. Oh, number no, one. No, no, no. Eh... Five, perdón, five, five, sorry. Oh, no worries. Okay, so let's go in order. Let's go in order then. So number one, uh, what should we do to improve your English? So, eh, ya los compañeros nos comentaron un par de ideas, but let's listen to some. Really quick, tell me. Tell me three ideas to improve your English. What should we do? The question is for me or for Ricardo? No, for everybody, for everybody. So tell me yeah, or give show, me three recommendations. Mm -hmm. For example, I show the list of music on um, English and um, what your favorite city, but uh, what's in English or practice okay. with your partner, with your friend, with your girlfriend, yes. boyfriend, etc. I like it, yeah. Very good. You should listen to music. You should practice with someone. One more, una recomendación más, chicos. One more recommendation to improve your English. Que más, que más. What comes to your mind? You could have daily goals for practice. You could have daily goals to practice. I really like that one. For example, todos los días voy a memorizarme dos palabras, tres palabras, que no son goals enormes, y es algo que lo pueden lograr. So, Small goals, exactly. I like it very much. Thank you. Number two, un tema que nos interesa a todos. What should I do to make more money? Give me three recommendations. What can you tell me? You should start the new business. Okay, yes. Two, another one. You should start the business. What comes to your mind? ¿Qué más? For me, deberían de invertirlo. You should invest. Mm. You, you, should should, invest. you should invest in Bitcoin. No. no. <laughs> you should start a business, but you shouldn't. <laughs> okay. No, I mean, creo que es bien arriesgado, but it's up to you. Además, es una recomendación. I think you shouldn't invest in Bitcoins. <laughs> okay. ¿Qué más? What else? What else? Mm -hmm. Put the business. Disney. Put the business. Oh, like start a business. Mm -hmm. You should start a business. You should invest. Uh, or you can take Marvin's advice. You should start investing in bitcoins. That works. Okay. I should take money. You should save money. Yeah, very good. That's fine. Uh, guys, number five. ¿Quién tiene las cinco? I like yes, number five. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Nothing. Yeah, the, 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 the second question. Mm -hmm. um, you should work overtime. No, you should work overtime. Yeah, that's good. And yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Well, let's Three skip, questions. guys, to number five. What should someone do to be happy? What are your recommendations? What Vamos should someone, what should hi, someone hi. do to be happy? Um, Anybody? I think many of you have escogido this, so tell me. They pray Oh, se me está quebrando, Richard. You're breaking a little. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm, no, don't be sorry. I mean, it's just that, yeah, sure. you're breaking a little bit. Yes? Norbert? Yeah. Should, should practice uh, values. Practice values. Okay, you should practice values. Okay. Anybody else? I should travel with your friends and joke with your friends. 
I don't know. You should travel. Okay, no worries. Richard, hagamos lo siguiente. Typeémelo. Typeémelo lo que tiene. So we can read you that way. No worries. It's fine. Uh, ¿Alguien más? What should you do to be happy, guys? For example, mm -hmm. uh, you will um, practice uh, ruler's courtesy. Oh, yeah. That works. That works. I, I like the values. So we should practice more values. That would definitely practice work. Practice dancing. Oh, yeah. We should dance. Yeah. We should sing. We should worry less. Yeah. So they are very good recommendations. Oh, you should listen to advice and you should respect <laughs> others. I like your recommendations, Richard. They are very good. Listen to advice is important, pero a todos nos cuesta, I think. <laughs> but that's a good one. Guys, it is about time. Nuestros últimos minutitos. So please, everybody, me ayuden con su camarita. Help me out with your camera. Let me take your attendance, the final attendance of the day. And then we are going to bed and sleep well. So just let me confirm. I got everybody here. Um, Anita, regale me confirmación, please. Give me some confirmation. Present teacher. Thank you. Brenda. Creo que todavía está at work. Brian. Uh, I am here. Thank you. Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you. Danny. Lupita. Guadalupe. Present miss. Thank you. Natalie. I think Natalie is not there. Jackie. Jacqueline. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Jocelyn. Present. Thank you. Ignacio. Present teacher. Thank you. Norbert. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Uh, Marvin Lopez. Oh, Marvin is here. Marvin... Marvin Alexander. Present teacher. I've been here. Yeah, here. I know. Uh, so Marvin Lopez, no. Okay. Uh, Moses. Present. Maybe Moses. Thank you, Moses. Pedrina. Oh, creo que tenía problemas con el audio. René. Richard. Present. Thank you. Present. Sandrita. Sandra Abigail. Present. Gracias, Miss. And Mabel. Present, teacher. Thank you. My last person is Ingrid. Present, Miss. <laughs> yes, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, everybody, uh, look, uh, Sandrita solo me regalo un par de minutitos. Please give me some minutes. Los demás estamos dismissed. Nos vemos hasta el día de mañana. Remember que tienen hasta mañana para completar la semana uno de la plataforma, right? Ya no es hasta el fin de semana, sino mañana. Eh, voy a estar revisando durante el día que ya algunos hayan completado, que ya tengan acceso, you know, and everything is good. Si tienen algún problema, let me know eh, para ver de qué manera podemos, eh, you know, help you in the process. Guys, nos vemos. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Sleep well. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. bye, bye. Have a good night. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Hello, Sandra. How are you? Hello, Miss. Gracias, Bye. Miss. Thank you. Thank you for helping me with the camera. Solo va a ser un par de minutitos que le voy a robar aquí. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How are you? ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo me le ha ido? Ay, un poco difícil, teacher. Esta semana ha sido un poco. 
como sí, trabajosa, sí. with a lot of work. Sabes que casi no hay personal, entonces se carga un poco más. Oh. Ok, I understand. Pero le agradezco enormemente que siempre la veo acá. Eh, gracias por la responsabilidad. Siempre la veo bien tempranito. So thanks a lot for that. Eh, ya casi pues no nada. Sé. Yes. No, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Sí, yo sé que cuesta. I know it's not so easy, pero el sacrificio que está haciendo ahorita, estoy segura que, you know, le va a ayudar mucho en el futuro. And sometimes, no sé si le ha pasado, pero vienen esas oportunidades que es como, necesito a alguien que hable inglés intermedio. Y uno dice, uh, no puedo bien todavía. Estoy básico, you know, me falta un poquitín. And, uh, y más adelante usted va a poder decir, ok, ahí voy, you know, that's my opportunity. So, um, considero que, que el inglés no es como para ahorita, it's not solo por el momento, sino que le va a dar muchas oportunidades in the future, tener otro trabajo o crecer donde estás, you know, or, or look for other jobs, especialmente ahora, you know, um, encontramos mejores oportunidades en, y, y por experiencia, I think I'm telling you that el inglés me ha abierto muchas, muchas oportunidades en, y pues nada, lo pensé mucho antes de estudiar y it was like, ay, quizás no inglés, quizás otra carrera, you know, and, pero la verdad es que me ha funcionado. It has worked y espero que para usted también. Um, so, uh, how do you feel? ¿Cómo se siente este módulo? Um, Está teniendo dificultades con el tiempo. Um, are you practicing a little? Creo que lo escuch la he escuchado un poquitín, <laughs> but not much. Ajá, uh -huh. eh, so, so que, eh, Pues no lo siento así que sea difícil, sino que como he estado practicando un poco, viendo videos de, de clases, y de, de palabras, pronunciaciones y todo eso. Ay, Siento que comprendo un poco más lo que dice, lo que me cuesta es cómo iniciar lo, eh, la conversación, ¿verdad? O escribirlo, ese cómo escribir las palabras, y entiendo, pero a la hora yo de querer expresarme, es quizás un poco, un poco difícil. Ok, so, todavía estamos con speaking. So, listening, me dice que listening ha mejorado al little, so you listen es que es como la misma práctica, right? Cuando usted hace lo mismo every day, every day, uno mejora, so we get better. Ok, hagamos una cosa, aprovechamos ahorita para practicar, let's practice a little bit. Um, for example, let me see, what can I ask you for? Ok, tell me a little about the last movie you saw. Tell me about the last, the last movie. Me escucho corta. Mm. Voy a poner la cámara un momento. ¿Me escucha mejor? ¿O, sí, o se escucha sí. igual? No sé, quizás es mi internet. Mm, vuelvo. No puedo uh, ya, yeah, pro, probemos con la camarita para un momento. Ok. So, tell me, eh, tell me, Sandra, about the last movie you saw or the last series, or the last, la última novela, you know, whatever you last saw. So try, try, do your best to explain that to me. The series, um, the name, the uh, innocent, Ok, uh, so, yo sí la escucho, Miss. Ahí le siento yo. Si gusta, eh, probemos con la cámara apagada un momento. Probablemente la señal mejore. Hola, Miss. Se me frició. Me eh, sí. De hecho, se me frició, fíjese. Hola. Hola, hola, ¿me escucha? A mí se me ha congelado la pantalla ahorita. 
De hecho, yo, yo sí la veo congelada. Ok, uh, mantenga la camarita apagada. Probemos con la cámara apagada. Me escucha mejor. Ok. Todavía me escuché cortada. Un poquito. Bien raro. Sí, yo creería que es la señal. No, se está afectando a las dos, I think. Ok, so, intentemos. Let's give it a try. Cuénteme un poquito de la sí, última. Sí, porque usted se me congela la pantalla. Uh -huh. Sí, usted se me quedó congelada también. Bye, let me, let me try with the camera off. So, um, tenemos tres minutitos. Ok, cuénteme en tres minutitos the last movie that you saw. The end, the series, the, the name is Innocent. Is very inter interesting. Mm -hmm. Why? Is the, como se dice, the suspenso. A thriller. Um, mm -hmm. Or, or suspense. suspense the thriller. Case. Suspense. De las dos formas se puede. Yes. Is un, un little confused. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the essence. Escenas. Scenes. The scenes. Scenes. Mm -hmm. um, y... Um, The three temporal. Mm -hmm. Seasons, las tres temporadas, the three seasons. Uh, the three seasons. Uh, okay, um, so, so tell me what I is... sleep at night um, sometime. Mm -hmm. Yes. The sleep at night at some time for, for wishes, for watch. So, oh, okay. No, it's okay. Don't watch, be sorry. Um, uh -huh. The series. Okay. What time? What time did you go to bed? Uh, um, one. <gasps> one in the morning. Um, something. No, no. Wow. No, okay. no forever. Okay, so like only some uh, days. The week. Saturday and Sunday. Monday week, más que todo el fin de semana. Wow. So, yeah. Wow, pero ni estudiando inglés. I'm very interesting. <laughs> interesting. Okay, so you said. Es como is... algo que uno quiere ver y quiere ver y quiere ver. I know, I know, especially serious. You watch one and then two, three, four episodes. I know, I know. That happened to me with Betty La Fea. Yeah. <laughs> so that was bad. That was bad. Oh, uh, but you know what? Really? Yeah, yeah, that happened to me. But you know what, Sandra? Ahora que le escucho, si tiene coherencia what you're saying and se entiende bastante bien. So I understand everything you're telling me. Um, si encuentro conexión con las ideas, si escucho gramática, eh, creo que lo que, um, no sé si usted me corrige, you know better than I do, pero creo que lo único sería eh, el vocabulario, lo que siento que me la detiene es como algunas palabritas que no sabe cómo decirlas, and you're like, mm. pero de lo contrario sí se comunica bastante bien. So you communicate very well. Sandra? Hello. Las palabras de abrazarlas es como que un... ¿Me escuchan? Sí, ahorita ya le escucho. Se me había quedado eh, broken, se me había quedado como frozen ahí. Pero ahora sí. Hola. Ah, okay. Yo creo que tenemos... 
some issues with the internet. Um, Miss, le voy a compartir unos ejercicios. Sí, un poco ejercicios. como para enlazar las palabras, quizás. Le voy a compartir puesto. un par de ejercicios que hagamos con vocabulario. Ok, y well, el ejercicio que vamos a hacer del vídeo nos va a ayudar también para eso, para ya empezar a ordenar y darle un poquito de vida um, y or, orden, ¿verdad? Lo que vayamos diciendo. Um, le voy a estar mandando ejercicios como lo hicimos el módulo anterior, solo que algunos okay. temas me hicieron falta que me mandara el audio. But, eh, pero sí, siento que he avanzado, siento que no se me ha quedado atrás, siento que sí me he avanzado, solo al... Es cuestión de, de unas palabritas que necesitamos, I think, uh, para que sigamos hablando, right? Pero, eh, Sandra, okay. quiero, verla, quiero verla en nivel 20. <ríe> Realmente quiero verla en nivel 20. Quiero verla, you know, avanzando, <ríe> siguiendo adelante. Así que, please, cuando sienta que ya, ah, ya no quiero seguir. I don't want to do it. Piense, uno, si voy a ganar mejor. I'm going to get a better job, you know. So, I'm going to have more opportunities. Y estoy segura que lo yes, puedes hacer. Sure. Thank I know you. you can do it. I know you can do it. So, gracias, Andrita. No le quito más Thank tiempo. Thank you, the Yo sé que está cansado. You're welcome. Sé so, que ya está cansadita. Así que nos vemos mañana. I'll see you tomorrow. Ya le voy a compartir los ejercicios. I'll share them with you. Okay, Bye. teacher. Good night. See Bye, you tomorrow. Miss. See you, see you.